this video we shall learn about solidification of pure metals. Guys you will be able to know about. Introduction to solidification of pure metals. Cooling curve for pure metals. Nucleation and growth of crystals. Cooling curve. Solidification mechanism in metals. Nucleation and growth transformation. Homogeneous nucleation. Free energy changes. Critical size of nucleus. Crystal growth and grain formation. Heterogeneous transformation. Introduction. During solidification, the liquid changes into solid during cooling. The energy of liquid is less than that of the solid above the melting point. Hence liquid is stable above the melting point. Below the melting point, the energy of liquid becomes more than that of the solid. Hence below the melting point, the solid becomes more stable than the liquid. Therefore below melting point, liquid gets converted into solid during cooling. This transformation of liquid into solid below melting point is known as solidification. Introduction Thermodynamically, both liquid and solid have equal energy at melting point and therefore both are equally stable at melting point. Therefore, no solidification or melting will take place at the melting point. Liquid will remain liquid and solid will remain solid. Some undercooling will be essential for solidification. This transformation occurs by nucleation and growth. Cooling curve for a pure metal showing possible undercooling. The transformation temperature, as shown on the equilibrium diagram, represents the point at which the free energy of the solid phase is equal to that of the liquid phase. Thus, we may consider the transition as given in a phase diagram, to occur when the free energy change, G, is infinitesimally small and negative, that is when a small but positive driving force exists, due to undercooling, nucleation and growth of crystals. At the solidification temperature, atoms from the liquid, such as molten metal, begin to bond together and start to form crystals. The moment a crystal begins to grow is known as nucleus and the point where it occurs is the nucleation point. When a metal begins to solidify, multiple crystals begin to grow in the liquid. The final sizes of the individual crystals depend on the number of nucleation points. The crystals increase in size by the progressive addition of atoms and grow until they impinge upon adjacent growing crystal. A nucleation of crystals, B. Crystal growth, C. Irregular grains form as crystals grow together, D. Grain boundaries as seen in a microscope. Cooling curve A cooling curve is a graphical plot of the changes in temperature with time for a material over the entire temperature range through which it cools. Cooling curve Under equilibrium conditions all metals exhibit a definite melting or freezing point. If a cooling curve is plotted for a pure metal, it will show a horizontal line at the melting or freezing temperature. Solidification mechanism in metals The solidification of metals occur by nucleation and growth transformation. In nucleation and growth transformation, the nuclei of the solid phase are formed and then they grow. Nucleation and growth transformation Nucleation, the physical process by which a new phase is produced in a material. In the case of solidification, this refers to the formation of tiny stable solid particles in the liquid. Growth, the physical process by which a new phase increases in size. In the case of solidification, this refers to the formation of a stable solid particle as the liquid freezes. Nucleation and growth transformation 
The nucleation and growth transformation may be of two types. 1. Homogeneous nucleation 2. Heterogeneous nucleation Homogeneous nucleation Formation of a critically sized solid from the liquid by clustering together of a large number of atoms at a high undercooling. Free energy changes The second phase has lower free energy than the first phase. Activation energy may be required for the transformation to occur as shown above. Nucleation and growth transformation Embryo An embryo is an unstable tiny particle of solid that forms from the liquid as atoms cluster together. As it is unstable so may either grow into a stable nucleus or redissolve. Nucleus it is a stable tiny particle of solid that forms from the liquid as atoms cluster together. Because these particles are large enough to be stable, nucleation has occurred and growth of the solid can begin. Critical size of nucleus The minimum size that must be formed by atoms clustering together in the liquid before the solid particle is stable and begins to grow. Crystal growth and grain formation. Nuclei crystals grains. Polycrystalline, solidified metal containing many crystals. Grains, crystals in solidified metal. Grain boundaries, the surfaces between the grains. Two major types of grain structures. Equiaxed grains, crystals grow about equally in all directions commonly found adjacent to a cold mold wall. Columnar grains, long, thin, coarse grains, created when metal solidifies rather slow in the presence of a steep temperature gradient. Columnar grains grow perpendicular to the mold surface. R. Critical radius. Liquid metal is cooled below freezing. Point. Slow-moving atoms bond together to create homogeneous nuclei. Nucleus, larger than critical size, can grow into a crystal. Embryo, smaller than critical size, continuously being formed and redissolved in the molten metal. Critical nucleus size. Critical nucleus size mainly determined by G. Amount of undercooling increases, the critical nucleus size decreases the relationship is R equals 2 THT where. Surface free energy TM, freezing temperature. HF, latent heat of fusion. Heterogeneous transformation. In practice, homogeneous nucleation rarely takes place and heterogeneous nucleation occurs either on the mold walls or on insoluble impurity particles. A reduction in the interfacial energy would facilitate nucleation at small values of T. This occurs at a mold wall or pre-existing solid particle. Heterogeneous nucleation, formation of a critically sized solid from the liquid on an impurity surface. Heterogeneous nucleation occurs in a liquid on the surface of its container, insoluble impurities and other structural materials that lower the critical free energy required to form a stable nucleus. Nucleation and growth transformation. The factors which determine the rate of phase change are the rate of nucleation, N and the rate of growth, G. Thank you.